Good afternoon, everyone. Jason here. Today is November 4th, and this is your aftermarket update. So we had a good week here at the Oil Trading Group, and we're going to talk about that in just a few moments. But one of the things that uh, I wanted to uh, focus in on is we spent a lot of time this week uh, discussing one of the major foundation pieces here uh, for what we do at the Oil Trading Group, and that is the philosophy of cutting your losers short and letting your winners run. We had a number of really good examples uh, of that this week in our trading session, and the numbers that I'm going to show you here uh, will bear witness to that. So, uh, But really what we did is we spent a lot of time talking about just how important it is uh, when you get into these opportunities to have small stops and relatively small stops. We're talking, you know, 8, 10, 12 tick stops. We had some volatility today uh, based on some news that was reportedly coming out of Saudi Arabia and then about the uh, about their willingness to cut production. And then that was considered to be a rumor that wasn't accurate. And so there was some volatility that happened today uh, on the crude market. Um, and we took a couple of lo losing trades. In fact, I'm going to show you here uh, the statistics uh, on some of that stuff here today. Uh, but we ended up catching a really nice winning trade. In fact, uh, uh, we missed having uh, really a home run trade uh, by really just getting stopped out and then before it turned around and ran the other direction. But uh, it was still a really nice trading day in here and uh, a really good trading week. So let's talk a little bit about those numbers here uh, right now. So what you're looking at here, uh, this is the TraderView uh, platform. It's a place where I upload the trades for the week, and this is kind of how we did for the week. So um, this is what we were. This is what the gross was. I'm going to flip it over here to net. This is net after uh, the commissions get factored in. And uh, a couple things that I want to draw your attention to here. When you talk about letting your uh, winners run and cutting your losers short, uh, it shows up in a couple of different places here. So right here, the average hold time for winning trades was 23 minutes, and the average hold time for losing trades uh, was nine minutes. So again, that is just about two and a half times. Uh, holding on at least in length of time, uh, that's two and a half times that we're holding on to our winners versus our losing trades. Also, uh, one thing to notice up here, the largest gain for the week uh, was 792.64 and the largest loss was 307. So 792 uh, divided by 307, that is a two and a half to one uh, win to loss ratio. So what? how that bears fruit here for you on the week is right here. Uh, you notice that the number of winning trades is about 55% and the number of losing trades is about 45%. And so that gives you a really good uh, sample of what it is that we're doing. Also, we kept the number of trades relatively low for the week. So we trade uh, using, I start out using two lots, whether it's on the CL or on the ES. So if you're talking about a two lot trades and uh, up 190 ticks uh, on the week on two lots, you can do the math, but that's a pretty good uh, that's a pretty good week by any measurement. So again, this is uh, the week of this uh, Monday, the 31st through the 4th. And again, the real emphasis being placed on uh, cutting your losers short and letting your winners run. So that's your trade review stats. Uh, there'll be a copy of these in uh, in the web posting as well. So the, really the trade of the day and what we like to do here, we had a number of trades here today. We had a couple of winning trades. We had a couple of losing trades, um, but we had one really nice winning trade today. Um, it was about 80 ticks uh, total. And I like to highlight these trades because as we have the philosophy of cut your losers short, let your winners run, it's important for you, and at least in my opinion, for you to be able to see the methodology in action. And that's what we try to do here. So again, we talked about the fact that there was some news out of Saudi Arabia that they were going to uh, increase their production production output if there wasn't going to be an agreement between Iraq, uh, Iran, and OPEC to um, cut production. You had this big sell-off here um, when that that was the rumor, and then you had this big rally. And so it was in this area that we did get a, some volatility, and we did have uh, a really nice run up into this triple top uh, up here today, uh, right into our one of our decision points. Uh, but I got chopped around just a little bit before uh, we took this really nice trade off a of settlement. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to turn off these. Uh, I'm just going to draw your attention to the fact that we had a uh, targeting area down around 4401 today. Uh, I'm going to turn these levels off for just a moment. We're going to take a look at these secondary levels. And so 
what you're going to see when I get into the video is you're going to t hear me talk about uh, getting short around this 62 uh, area here. And again, I tried once on this first leg to the downside and it actually missed me. I got in a little bit later because we had a market maker level here um, that ended up taking me out, right? And so again, we cut the loser short. We didn't let the loser run a long way. We cut that loser short. And then I jumped back on when we saw the volume here hit this uh, Asian range low and settlement and the volume was really starting to stack up behind this level here. I get short at 62 and I am looking for a run all the way down to zero, zero. And so again, we'll turn this uh, primary level back on. It comes down right here, uh, down to 03. My target was zero, zero. Um, comes back up. My trail stop on that uh, on this video that you're going to see is at 22, and this takes me out. Uh, it comes up to 25 before it takes that next leg. So um, I went from 62 to 22, which is 40 ticks, and then it obviously comes right back down to zero zero. So it could have been even better. Uh, but the point of that is that we found an opportunity using our uh, OTG. Uh, decision points along with uh, this settlement area, which is, again, that's a decision point on the chart uh, because we know that settlement is an attractive uh, place for the market to rally into and provide resistance or support depending on the side that it's on. In this case, it was resistance. Uh, we saw the volume stacking up around this level. Uh, we took advantage of this opportunity, and then we managed to get it all the way down here, ultimately to 22. Uh, our target, as you'll hear, uh, was that zero zero level unfortunately um, it snagged us out up here first on this real quick pullback before the next bar uh, falls out all the way down to the zero zero level that happens but again it was an overall good week uh, a good day rather and an overall good week for us here at the oil trading group as we finished up uh, just about 200 ticks on the week trading two lots so I'm going to let you watch that OTG trade of the day. It lasts about 20 minutes. So without further ado, here is the OTG trade of the three short. I'm in at 62. We're going to look to try to target down there to 40 again. This is the second attempt through here now. We need to move down through this revision signal at 56. And again, we'll look to target down into the 40s down there. The stop now here. What is this swing high up here at the bottom of the zone is 69. 71 is the stop. Nine ticks to 71. Point of control at 61 here. And we are looking to carry this back into test that down through that 40 area. And we'll see. We got to get underneath the revision signal here at uh, 56. We need to move down through the revision signal at 56. There's 55, 54, now move back underneath here, 47. So again, had the right idea at 61. I jumped in at that uh, structure mid at 47, and of course it had to come right back up. So the stop here is 62 at break even now. The stop here is at 62 at break even. And now you're looking for that move back underneath 47, then to go test potentially down to that 32 from earlier here. So there's 50, 51, and then again, 62 ticks down to zero, zero would be your target, okay? So this is where we're at. And 50, 49, we've got to get through. 44, you've got a double bottom at 32, a bottom here at 43, 44. There's 47, 46, muscle through it here. Trail stop at 57. There's 46, there's 45, 44. That's that bottom we got to get through. Then 42, 41. There's 43, push through it. You've got volume down there at 40. We've got to fight through here. Trail stop now at 55. So we hit 45. Trail stop here, 57. And we don't need a big bounce out of this zone. You've double bottomed now the... 43, I guess, 43. Yeah, double bottom to 43. So if we can get through 42, 41, you got it. And then 32, 31, right? That 32, 31 is a big area. You've got 15 minutes till the bottom of the hour here. Let's see if we can't push down through. There's 46. We've got to get underneath 43. 
There's 47, 48. Sitting on top of the structure mid. New bar here in three minutes. Want to close 46 or lower here. You've got liquidity up there at 58. The trail stop right now is at 57. Let's see if we can't sell off here in the way that I'm looking for. So that double bottom at 43, we need to break through that. We break through that. Then you've got a line of liquidity at 40. You break through that, it's 32, and then you're looking for another move down to 44.00 here, maybe into the bottom of the hour. We'll see. Forty-four. Let's go. Forty-three, forty-two here. There's forty-three. Come on, get through forty-three, forty-two. There's a triple bottom here now at forty-three on your one minute, and you've got liquidity at forty-two and then forty. Come on, break through it here. Break through that 43-42. Come on, don't stall. 45, 44, 43. There we go. Trail stop here now at uh, 52. Let's see if we can't get through 32 down here. So 32 is the area we need to get down underneath. We got down to 38, hit some of that liquidity there at 38. Trail stop here at 52 for now. Come on, fight your way underneath it here. Let's go. What's the recent swing high? Fifty. And that swing low is thirty-eight. Double bottom there at forty-three. So we need to slice through this forty-three, forty-two. Eleven minutes to the bottom of the hour here. Thirty-two, you've got a double bottom there at thirty-two. We've got to fight through. And then you're looking for 44.00 underneath. Bring the trail stop here. I'm going to bring this back to 57 on the trail stop. I'm going to try to let this thing run here. 38, then 36 underneath you here. So we came down to 38, 39, and 40 was the area here. You've got 10 seconds here. 46, 45 or lower on a close here. Get you underneath the structure mid and right underneath it. So that's a good sign. So looking for this thing to march down to 44.00 or some, something like that. So there's 40. Let's go 39, 38. You've got 38 and volume at 36. So we need to pick up the pace here on a breakdown through 38, 36 here. And then you got to get through that bottom that was there at 32. There's 38, 37. All right, we can bring this back to 52 here. 36, get through 32. You've got volume stacked up underneath you here, trying to protect down around that 32 bottom area. <laughs> 52 is the trail stop here. If we get down to, well, here's what you need. You need a bar to close 37 or lower, 40 or lower, 39 or lower. So 39 or lower, 37 or lower, those would all be, that would all be good. And you've
you've got eight minutes. Jeez, really? Trail stop 57 here. I'm going to try to hang on to this to, through the bottom of the hour. I don't want to get shaken out here prior to the bottom of the hour. 57 is the trail stop. And the low down here, this this bar low was 36. So these are the ebbs and flows again. I'm trying to hang on to that target. There's 42. You've got liquidity at 40, 38, 36. It is a little bit tough underneath us here in terms of volume. Trying to keep the floor underneath it here. Let's see if we can break through it. Forty one, let's go forty, then thirty eight. We're just stuck right here. Forty has been that area we talked about. Actually talked about it in the beginning of the session today, I think. Remember forty five forty was an area that we were talking about looking to short uh down there because of the all of the volatility that was around it right at the open or all of the price action that had rotated around it at the open that's where it's rotating here again seven about six minutes here till the bottom of the hour and we'll see if we can get some energy coming through into the bottom of the hour here. Forty-two. You've got volume there at forty. There's forty again. We're trying to get through forty-one, then forty. This is a this is a battle zone here. You don't need me to tell you that, but I did. So if we can break down through 32, I think we're going to be in really good shape. If we can break down through 32, that previous bar low was 36. There's 39.38. New five-minute bar right now. Bottom of the hour coming up here. We closed underneath that. Uh, yeah, we closed underneath the uh, right at this bar at 39. So underneath that 40, 41. Let's see here. Push through 39, 38. Volume at 37. Again, we're trying to hang on for a target here. Previous bar low, 36. There's 38. You've got some liquidity there at uh, 38. Thirty-nine, thirty-eight. Come on. Yeah, we break 38. We should go all the way down to. Larry, will, Wayne will answer that for you. <laughs> and looking down 37, 36. There's another touch of 38 again. You've got 103 long at 37. Lots of volume stacking up right here. This breaks. Come on, break it, break that 38. Okay, the volume's backing away a little bit here at 30, 38 now. Okay, 37, it just flashes in again. 36 is previous bar low. You've got a double bottom down there at 32. Okay. 
Come on, hit that 37. Get through it. We're trying. We're trying. There's 37, 36. The volume. Okay, so there's a line of volume underneath 37, 36, 35 that keeps melting away. There's 34. Break that bottom at 32 that we had earlier. There's 34, 33. Bring this trail stop. There's 32, 31. Bring this trail stop down to uh, 47 for now. Where did we hit? We just came down into that 30. You have a line of volume at 30. Still looking down deep underneath here. Still looking down deep underneath. Try to get this into the close here. So the recent, the swing bottom. All right, this is another good sign here. Okay, you've got a triple bottom here at around 29.28 on this 15-minute chart we've got to get through. Uh, that is something, that's a place we've got to get down underneath. Uh, we came down to 12. This was back around an hour ago. We were down around 12. So if we sail down into 12, we'll have to see about tightening up the stop here and can't get through 12. I'd like to get a bar to close below this 32 here, 31 or lower. Now yeah, that's awesome then. Wayne says there's a bearish engulfing on the 15 minute if it ends up holding, and that would be a very another very strong sign here for us. So we've got to get, I'd like a bar to close 33 or lower, 31 or lower here. Really, just anywhere underneath 40 here is a good is a good signal, a good sign rather. Bring this trail stop down to 20 ticks to 42 for now, but I'm going to pull that back a little bit if it starts to rally back up into that 40, 41 area. There's 31. You've got volume down there at 30. New bar here, close. Uh, never mind. I was going to say close of the European session. That's uh, that'll be this time Monday. Right now, it's still an hour off. So you got to get that bar down through 31 or lower on a close would be ideal. Even 32 would be okay, but you'd like this thing to gain some acceptance below that previous double bottom. You've got about 20 seconds left on this bar. 31 or lower would be ideal on a close. Into the bottom of the hour here. There's 32. Trail stop right now at 47, just for now. Okay, bar did not close underneath that, but again, we are still looking to try to push through here. There's 32. Let's go 31, 30, 29. There we go. Break through here, 28, 27. 42 on the stop, targeting 0, 0. Bring that trail stop down to 37 now. And you are looking at a... Target of zero zero underneath. Target of zero zero underneath. Right now the trail stops at 37. That may go back to 42. You've got 111 long at 20. Twenty-six, twenty-five. We gotta get down through the twenty level. We need to get down underneath twenty. So this area, the structure signal was here at 12. That's where we paused before. Still looking to try to get down to 12. Underneath that 12, you've got some volume down here at 24, down to 20. Twenty three, twenty two. Bring this trail stop here to thirty two. That's thirty ticks. But I'm not gonna leave it there. I'm gonna let this thing try to continue the push down. There's twenty three, twenty two. You've got volume at twenty one and twenty. Forty four even is your target. That's sixty two ticks. There's twenty one. Let's go twenty. Nineteen, eighteen. One thirty six long at twenty. You just got hit the 20 level okay there's your 20 44 
even is the is there's 19 18 okay we got to get through 12 you've got liquidity at 13 and 12 bring the trail stop down to 27 here I'm gonna take one off at zero zero just one off at zero zero underneath okay we're gonna let the other one try to run a little bit not that this hasn't been a nice run but there's 14 13 bring this trail stop down to 22 there's 12 11 10 all right, so you've got, let's go, 987. Let's hit that target. Bring this trail stop down to, there's 10.9. Leave it at 22.23 right now. Okay, we hit 10. Come on. That's right down into the zone here. Let's go ahead and take out the target down there. There's 12, 11, 10. You've got liquidity, a little bit of liquidity at 0, 0. There's 10, 9. Bring this trail stop down to 17 again. There's 9, 8. Let's go. Fight through it here. Keep pushing. 7, 6. There's 5, 4. Let's go. Get through 3, 2, 1. There's 5, 4. Bring this trail stop down to 12 here. Tra trail stop at 12. There's 03. Let's go 2100. Trail stop 50 ticks at 12. Make that 17 on the stop. I'm going to give it one more shot here to gather up the steam to see if we can't get through it. One more. Make that uh, 17 on the stop. Give it one more shot here to try to get down through. Find that resistance that was support at 1213. See if we can't finish it up. It doesn't surprise me that we paused a little bit down here right before we hit the zero zero level. One oh three short at seventeen. Boy, you've got volume and liquidity all the way back up here. Twenty two is the stop. Forty ticks. Twenty two is the stop. You've got lots of volume protecting back up here. It may need a rally just a little bit before it continues to push down. You've got a new bar coming out here on the five minute. You'd like to close underneath. The revision signal at uh, 12. 40 seconds here. We'll see. We'll see. This is part of trying to hold on for the targets, and maybe it was giving back too much here, but that's okay. It's still a good, still a good thing here. And we're trying to hold on. Like I said, I'd be more aggressive. There's 20, 21, 20. That's, uh, let's see here. That Let's go. Come on, push back down. Let's see that 20 hold here. That was support. We need that to become resistance here. And I'm out at 22. That's okay. That puts me up about 100 ticks on the day. All right. So, again, you can see here that I got snagged out right there at 22. Uh, the high move back uh, on this uh, rally back up was right, uh, was right here to 25. And that was just enough to take me out before it comes down into what was going to have been my target. That happens. But again, that's part of the uh, that's part of the dance of trying to hold on for those bigger targets. You want to try to protect as much as you can while giving it enough space to move. And sometimes it comes back and grabs you before it finishes that move like it did in this case down to our zero zero level. So again, we spent a lot of time this week talking about two concepts in here, and that's using your decision points and order flow to uh, fine tune your entry points along with the order flow to fine tune the stops. Again, you want to have smaller stops so that you can pick up uh, those larger targets once you get to your decision points. So again, we hope that you uh, enjoyed the week that you spent here with us. A number of you, we had a number of guests in here this week, and we certainly enjoyed having those guests in here with us. And uh, again, uh, we would look forward to having you back at some point again in the future. Uh, again, the philosophy here, as you know, is to cut those losers short, let those winners run. And uh, again, you saw how we did on this week. So as always, I want to spend, uh, again, as always, I want to say thank you for spending the time uh, watching the videos here at the Oil Trading Group. And until next time, I want to wish you good luck and good trading.